our mission is to give computers a sense of smell. Red, green, and blue are three numbers that form a map of color. And with those numbers, you can describe any color. Odor has not had a map because smell is more complicated. It's more emotional, it's more personal. The field of machine learning and artificial intelligence has given us those tools to build high dimensional maps. That's exactly what we did. We discovered what we think is the first draft of a map of odor, and then we used it to explore and find new molecules that had never been smelled before. And we predicted their smells ahead of time. And it turns out we got it right. We'll tell the computer program, please find us molecules that smell like lily of the valley. It will propose molecules that it thinks will smell uh, of those odor characters. And then we ask it to do other things. We say, okay, only show us molecules that are affordable, that are biodegradable. And then so the list gets smaller and smaller. And then what we're left with is a short list of molecules that we think are very likely to be interesting. And in some cases, yeah. the ingredients on the perfumer's palate are actually naturals. They're acres and acres and acres and acres of flowers that are being farmed just to create a drop. We do that because we don't have good replacements. But if we did have a replacement, we'd use that land for food. We'd use that land for conservation. And so we think there's a lot of opportunities for artificial intelligence to increase the pace of discovery of new fragrance ingredients.